Hello and welcome to another MessageBird developer tutorial. Today we'll show you how to build two-factor authentication with MessageBird's Verify API using PHP. You can either walk through the tutorial with us here or get started now by downloading the sample application in the MessageBird developers portal using the link in the description. To get started, let's open a console pointed at the directory into which you've stored the sample application. We can now run composer install to install the dependencies defined in the composer JSON file. The dependencies include the MessageBird SDK, which is used to access the Verify API, as well as the Slim framework, the Twig templating engine, and the .env configuration library. Let's head over to the index.php file. First, we need to enable Composer autoloading. Next, we can initialize the MessageBird SDK by creating an instance of the MessageBird client class. The constructor takes a single argument, an API key. For our Slim-based example, we add the SDK on the dependency injection container. We use getEnv to load the API key from an environment variable. To do this, we need to first initialize .env and then add the key to a .env file. The sample repository contains an env example file, which will first copy to an env and then enter the required information. You can create or retrieve your API key on the MessageBird dashboard. The first step in verifying a user's phone number is asking them to provide it. In view step one, we'll create a basic HTML form with a single input field and a button to submit the data using the post method to step two. Providing tell as the type attribute of our input field allows some browsers, especially on mobile devices, to optimize for telephone number inputs. Finally, we create a route in index.php to display the form. Once we've collected our user's number, we can send a verification message to their mobile device. The MessageBird Verify API takes care of generating a random token, so we don't have to do this ourselves. In index.php, we have a route for post request to step two. Here, we first create a verify object to encapsulate the parameters for our API request. We set the number from the form as the recipient attribute and specify a template for the message. The template must contain the placeholder token, which is replaced with the generated token on MessageBird's end. Codes are numeric and six digits by default. Also, using the originator, we specify the sender ID of the text message with the code. The value should either be a valid telephone number in international format or an alphanumeric string with at most 11 characters. Now, using this message bird, we can access the previously initialized SDK on the container and then call the verify create method with the verify object as its parameter. The message bird SDK throws exceptions for any error. Therefore, the section is contained in a try catch block. If the API call fails for any reason, for example, the user has entered an invalid phone number, the catch block executes and re render the form from the first step again, but include the error message. In case the request was successful, Code execution continues after the catch block and will render a new page. Our API response contains an ID, which we'll need for the next step, so we'll add it to the form using Twig template parameters. We can see the form in the file views step two. It looks similar to the previous form with an input named token instead of number, and it also includes a hidden field with our verification ID. Once the code is delivered, our user will check their phone and enter the code into our form. It submits the input to the step three route. Let's look at this route in index.php. First, we retrieve the ID and token inputs from the form. The verify verify method accepts these two parameters, so we don't need to create an object first. As before, there's a catch block to handle errors such as invalid token entered by the user. In this case, we show the same form again with the error. If verification was successful, we render a simple confirmation page. The template view step three contains a static message. You can test the application with PHP's built-in web server. Enter the following PHP command on the console to start the application. Let's point our browser to localhost 8080 and verify the user's phone number. <coughs> and that's it. Nice work. We've just built a two-factor authentication system using the MessageBird Verify API. That concludes our tutorial. For more guides on how to build communication solutions with our SMS, voice, and chat APIs, please visit the MessageBird YouTube channel and developer portal. Thanks for listening.